Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Crayon Lean Teach. Today's video is going to be all about teaching subtraction and specifically this video is going to be looking at 10 frames to help teach subtraction. So if you think that you'll find this video useful then keep on watching. So today we're going to be looking at 10 frames to help teach subtraction. So I've got a simple 10 frame here that I just printed out from the internet. You can easily make them using pieces of paper or even draw them out on a whiteboard. And I'm just going to be looking at a simple subtraction calculation. 10 take away 5 equals. Now I've got some counters here that I'm going to use on my 10 frame. You can use any small objects like buttons, pasta, cubes, just as long as the object fits inside the little box, then you can use those. And then what I would do first is discuss with the child, like what number are we going to start with, with our subtraction. So the biggest number, which is obviously the first number in the calculation, 10. So we discuss how we would start off with 10 things and count out 10 objects onto our 10 frame. So hopefully if children have worked with 10 frames before, they know that 10 means that we're going to have a full 10 frame. So there needs to be one thing in each box on the 10 frame. We go and then we would check that we do indeed have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we would talk about the symbol taken away, and that actually means we're taking objects away. So we would take away 5. So we're going to actually physically take away 5 of our counters that we have on our 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, so the children are then experiencing actually physically taking the objects away and then I would ask the children you're working with to count how many counters we've got left. Now if children have worked with 10 frames before they might know that if the whole bottom line is filled in then they immediately know that that is 5, they might not even need to count to check but if they're still quite new to using 10 frames they might want to check that there is indeed 5 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So then we have our answer that 10 take away 5 equals 5. So then they can then write in the number 5 to show their answer. So when using 10 frames for addition or subtraction, you're not limited just to working within the numbers 10. You can have um, as many 10 frames as you want. So that means you can work up to as high a number as you want, which is great. So we're going to use the 10 frames to do a more challenging um, subtraction calculation. 16 take away 11 equals. So obviously we're going to need two 10 frames. So first of all, I would ask the children to think about what number we're starting with, obviously the biggest number, number 16, and the children would then have to count out 16 objects onto their 10 frame. So let's count out 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six. So it's a really good opportunity to talk about that when we have a full 10 frame, we know that that is 10. So instead of the children having to count out one by one, just what I did there, they could actually just fill up the 10 frame. And then we could talk about that as soon as that 10 frame is filled, we know that this is definitely 10. And then we would then just need to count our six extra counters. So now we're going to take away 11. So again, this is a really good opportunity to talk about that we know that a full 10 frame is 10. So instead of taking away 11 one by one, one counter at a time, we could actually just take away this entire 10 frame and we know that we've taken 10 away. And then we just think about, right, we've taken 10 away. We still need to take away one away. So we just take away one. And then we can count how many counters we have left. One, two, three, four, five. So then five would be our answer and you would get the children to write in the answer. So I really hope you found this video useful and if you're interested in any other teaching videos then make sure and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.